In today's video, you will learn how to create a spooky horror text animation in After Effects. Or if you want to save your times, you can get this ready-made template from my website as well as my Patreon page. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. So let's create a new composition. I'm using full HD resolution at 24 frames per second. Duration is 10 seconds. First, I select Text Tool and write our text, and then I align it to the center. After that, I open the Text property, and then I click this icon to add a tracking option. So that we can animate the tracking of this text, so at the first frame, I set the tracking amount to 100 and add a keyframe, and then I go to the 7 seconds and I change it to 30. Then I select both keyframes and change it to Bezier keyframe. And after that, I go to the graph editor. And then I change the graph like this. To get a smooth tracking animation of this text. Now I select the text layer and then I pre-compose this layer. Name it as a text holder. Then I search Turbulence Displacement and add it to this layer. Now we can animate this. So I place a time indicator at the first frame and change the amount to 100 and add a keyframe. Then at the 5 second mark and I change the amount to 0. Press U to see the keyframes. And then I select both keyframes and change it to Bezier keyframe. And after that, I go to the graph editor and change the graph like this. So you will get this kind of displacement movements from text. Alright, so now I'm going to add a new solid layer. Name it as a noise. Then I search a fractal noise effect and add it to this layer. Then I go to the effects properties and here I change the fractal type to swirly. Then I open the Transform property and under it I change the scale to 400. And then I also change Complexity to 3. And then we can play with the evolution to animate this. So hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to reveal the expression panel. And then I type simple expression called Time times 30. So it will animate very beautifully. After that, I select the Fractal Noise Effect, go to Edit, and here I select Copy with Property Links, then I select the layer and duplicate it, and now I can delete this effect and paste it here. So now this effect is linked with this layer effects. Now select Noise Layer, and then I pre-compose this layer, and name it as a Noise Distortion. Check this icon and click OK. After that, I select a text holder layer and then I search an effect called CC Image Wipe. Then I add it to this layer. Then I open the gradient option and under it, I change the layer as Noise Distortion Layer. Then I turn off both noise layers. Also, I change the layer option as Effects and Masks. So now, if I change the completion value, so you can see how we can manipulate the visibility of our text. So I set this completion value to around 3 for now. After that, I add one more effect called Displacement Map to this layer. Then, once again, I change layer as a Noise Distortion and change Source as Effect and Masks. Then, I change the Displacement option to Luminance for both sets. And I also change the Horizontal as well as the Vertical Displacement. But right now, if I scrub the timeline so you can see the distortion is stay the same across the timelines. To solve this problem, I select the Noise Distortion layer and turn on the visibility for now. And then I add a Tint effect to this layer. Then I select the black color and change the black to 50%. And now it's looking a light gray color. So if I select a Noise layer, and change the contrast or brightness. So you can see we can manipulate the distortion and control the displacement of this text. So I go to the 7 second mark in the timeline and then change the brightness value in the negative direction. 
until our text is settled down. And then I add a keyframe and then I go to the first frame and change the brightness value to zero to get the distortion back. You can also change the displacement map value a little bit as per your requirement. And then I add one more effect called CC Vector Blur to this layer. And then I select the Noise Distortion layer and duplicate it. And then I rename it as Noise Blur. Let's remove the Tint effect from this layer. And then I add a Exposure effect to this layer. Then I select a Text Holder layer and change the Vector Blur layer as a Noise Blur with the Source, Effect and Masks. And now if I increase the Vector Blur amount around 50 so you can see how it's effect to the text. And then I also manipulate the gamma a little bit, something like 0 0.3, 0. Now select Text Holder layer and then search effect called Compound Blur and then add it to this layer. Once again, change Blur layer as Noise Blur, change Source as Effects and Masks. And then I increase the Blur amount to around 120 so it will look cool, spooky text. Now I select Noise Blur layer and increase the exposure a little bit to increase the blur distortion on this text. Alright, so now I select the text holder layer and then I duplicate it and rename this layer as a text choker. And then I select all the effects of this layer and delete it. And then I search effect called simple choker and then I add it to this layer. After that, I search a fill effect and add it to this layer. Then I change the choke mat value in the negative direction to get those lines. Also, I change the fill color to white. And then I add roughen edges effect to this layer. And then I put it above the fill effects. And then I change the edge type to spiky. And then I increase the border value around 30 to get this look. And then I manipulate the scale as well as the sharpness of this effect. After that, I add time expression on the evolution. And then I decrease the opacity value to around 30% of this layer. If you want to make this text more spooky, so select the Noise Blur layer and then duplicate it. Rename it as a Noise Color. And then I add a Tint Effect to this layer. And then I change the black color to light green. Now I turn on the Transparency icon and change its mode to Color to get this look. But if I scrub that timeline so you can see the weird gray color. So now I add a new solid layer. This is going to our background layer. And now I add a gradient ramp effect to this layer and then I change radial ramp, then swap colors and change the black color to dark gray. Also, I turn off the Exposure effect from Noise Color layer. Then I select the Background layer and increase the RAM Scatter to remove the Color Bending effect. And then, I select the Text Choker layer and play with the Opacity value to remove unnecessary green patches. So that's how you can create a spooky text animation in After Effects. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out my website for premium After Effects templates. You can also join me on Patreon for the latest updates and free project files. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.